Hey, Tony here at Ram Ventures 2.0. Where are we at and what are we doing? Well, where we're at, we're in the woods. and We just finished the stealth camp. Uh, so, got my backpack all packed. And uh, what are we doing? Well, we're going to Maha. Uh, what's Maha? Uh, well, it's the Mid-Atlantic Hammock Hangers Association. Uh, so we're going down towards Lancaster and uh, well, Buckle up, uh, we got two days down there in Lancaster. So, cue the music. There it is, all right, let's go. Ah, oh, hold on, hold on, stop the music. I wanted to say one more thing. We're already here. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to Maha 2024, we are here. So we got here about maybe, hmm, an hour and a half ago. Um, so where's Maha at? It's right below Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Uh, Conestoga, so let me show you on the Google Earth. <laughs> right here it is. Uh, so you can see, zooming in here to Pennsylvania. So we're in Pennsylvania. Um, right at uh, this location right here, that blue dot, that's us sitting right here. Now, if you scan over here, we're at Ambush. Uh, which is a paintball course and also airsoft. I'll show you all that later. Right now it's raining. <laughs> so, uh, well, <laughs> I got the one with the doors because there's a little bit of wind. Um, they're expecting 10 to 20 mile an hour winds tomorrow and some winds today as well. Uh, but we got here at 1230, got set up quick because look at this. There was rain coming. You can see it's about three o'clock right now. Even though the band is coming, um, it's here already. So we already got um, drizzles wet. I'm just sitting in here finishing my coffee. <laughs> it was getting cold. <laughs> uh, and uh, so we got a great weekend planned Friday and um, also um, tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. Um, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do today. Mm, we'll see. Uh, but right around one o'clock in the morning, um, put that back up there again. All right. So right about 1 a.m., it's going to be raining again. Uh, I'm glad I put the tarp up. So, hey, let's get this started. All right. Well, what we're doing next, but there's people coming in. I already saw a pork roll. I saw why not Tony guys that we talked to down in uh, Florida down at Hancon I did see Dutch he's busy walking around because people are getting all set up they got a lot of questions and he's taking care of it all right well here we go all right so we walked back out to the parking lot real quick because I wanted to show you the parking lot so this is the parking area for Maha, and then all that way is where the event is at. Um, so some guys are here getting their stuff together and taking it out and getting hung in the woods. And uh, yeah, we're probably going to walk. Uh, well, let me show you this way. <laughs> yeah, before I head in there, uh, out here in the parking lot, I got invited over for a, what was that, a hot sausage? Yeah, that was good. Sausage. Philadelphia. Oh, sausage from Philadelphia, because look who I found. There's pork roll, and why not? <laughs> and who's that standing way back here? MML. MML. The man, the myth, the and the legend. legend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so they were just uh, cooking, cooking out here at the truck, doing a little tailgate, yeah, and catching up on some stories. So I want to say hi to the guys, and I'm going to head back on in there. All right. See ya. So just from the parking lot, here's the main building and to get into the compound and that's where everybody's cooking and hanging out. And there's actually auction, not auction items, but like a yard sale of stuff right over here on the right that you can put out. Yeah, so just coming in from the parking lot. So when you come into this area, um, right on the right here is uh, like fleas market and there's a reason it's called fleas <laughs> right <laughs> so uh let's take a look at what's on the table here all right so here we are so hey how are you doing how you doing <laughs> hop in here hi so we're at the, we're at the fleas market yeah. it's called fleas because of 
Dutch well, fleas, ah, right? There you go. Play on words, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Not me, I didn't make it up. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is my gear right here. I got a whole bunch of stuff. I got half a dozen different hammocks. I got more hammocks and I know what to do with. Got an under quilt, got uh, uh, winter top covers. I got uh, a nice Dutch bling print tarp Ooh, nice. uh, that that i don't use i got more tarps so i know what to do with right. as well but anyway i'm i'm excited i'm hopefully somebody will see something that interests them and uh you know we'll do a little swap here yeah, at the swap yeah. meet so your uh trail name is popcorn popcorn yeah let me right. see the hat Bend down yeah there. there you go there you go <laughs> popcorn how'd you get that trail name oh it's a long story but uh, <laughs> it's my favorite food in the whole world to the point where i'm willing to leave trail uh -oh. to go get some get and come out. back to trail yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah that's absolutely. awesome <laughs> so this is a great idea to have stuff that people can you know stop by and pick up yeah so you do have a lot of extra well i wouldn't i would have had more except i ran out of time to make more labels ah, so, there you yeah. go yeah you do have it all labeled up oh that's i do nice. have it all labeled up yeah oh very cool all right well, I hope you sell it all. <laughs> well, and I hope I make somebody else happy with stuff yeah, that I can't use anymore. Yeah, no, that's perfect. All right, popcorn, we'll see you. See you later. Yeah, just from the fleas market down there and up here is the fire. Like I said, there's uh, places that you can, they've got grills right over there where you can do a little bit of cooking. Then there's all the tables where you can sit and make your meal. Uh, but this is the uh, eating and cooking area. And then on the other side over there is where we got our all, all of our hammocks hung. We got the fire area right over here. So it's all set up. They got the logs in there. Pretty cool. A lot of people getting warmed by the fire because it's still chilly out. So just coming out of the compound, uh, and you turn this way where that truck's parked and see the gate? That's right through that gate. That's where we're located. So that's where all of us are hanging in our hammocks. And not everybody's here yet. People will be coming all tomorrow as well. But so far, this is just tonight. Uh, people that were coming came and got set up and things. And people are just working their way over there to cook uh, in the compound area. So just through the gate and off to the right is going to be where all the hammocks are at. And then this side is where all of the paintball or airsoft takes place. So right over there in the woods is a Yobo gear all set up. So we're going to stop by there and talk to him tomorrow. Right now everybody's uh, in the community area eating or staying warm by the fire. But I wanted to walk out here and show you. Uh, part of this paintball course. Yeah, we got these buildings here. So this one, this one here, <laughs> looks like uh, old mobile homes or manufactured housing. You got campers down there. Oh, this one's set up as a school. Yeah, uh, let's take a walk in here. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Oh yeah. Oh, you even got a kitchen? Oh, I should have set my hammock up in here. Ah, uh, let's do that one. Ah, uh, that's going to be pretty fun. Man, I wish I could do this again, but uh, I didn't sign up for it. Yeah, this is really awesome. Yeah, kind of like the apocalypse. <laughs> There's another building right over there. So some of them are labeled. That one's labeled hardware store. And then, oh, there's a porta potty. That porta potty is right across from where I'm camping or hanging by hammock. Uh, let's walk through here. Yes, yeah, kind of gives you an end of the world feel. <laughs> this is a pretty cool place to be uh, doing a hammock hang. Yeah, we'll catch them uh, tomorrow. We'll see if we can get some some footage of them playing. I think there's about 30 people signed up. Uh, but just right across the road here is where everybody's set up with hammocks. You can see down that way. Most of them are down further in the woods. Yeah, kind of hear voices coming from out of the woods. Pretty cool. This porta potty is going to be fairly close to our camp. In fact, I'm 
just right over put the green lights right there there's our one one hammock i think while it's still light i mean let me take a walk down through here a little bit more yeah look at that pretty cool tower yeah this this would be, this would be a lot of fun well we got a restaurant down that way but yeah they've got it set up pretty nice here yeah they do they got the buildings numbered yeah all right <laughs> enough for this area let's keep walking yeah so this is right down from my spot we got this reference we got the green lights right over there in the right hand corner of your screen and then you can see just down from my spot you got more and more hammocks and all kinds of different setups yeah we're going to walk around and talk to quite a few people oh look at that one right over there all right yeah okay this that's the uh camper right there in the middle it says ammo dump and then yeah I'll bring you over to the right yeah you can see hammocks are all the way down through the woods there and this spot right here if that looks familiar on the AT that's the lookout hostel yeah <laughs> so they're here as well awesome looking forward to meeting them all right we're back towards the back side here that's uh what's called the castle so that's part of the paintball and airsoft course or field oh look i think we found popcorn spot we just saw him <laughs> out in the parking lot so this must be his setup yeah and we're gonna walk back around here to the castle. This is a really cool place. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna have this here again next year, but if they do, um, yeah, you ought to try to come out. I didn't realize all this was back here. You can see hammocks way down there in the woods. And then even that way, kind of spread out right now. Oh, that's a big castle there. I think this, this would make a pretty cool spot in here, too. Yeah, look through the window. Yeah, I might even think about doing some hammock hanging in here. There <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, you're going to get a Yobo gear set up there. All right. Yep. Oh, perfect. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, you can pretty much set your hammock up anywhere you want in these areas. Yeah, this is the inside of the castle. Oh, we got another Yobo gear here. Yeah, so I heard about Yobo gear whenever I was down in Florida. I had never seen one before or known anything about it until the HangCon in Florida this year. All right, we just stepped into the interior of the castle. <laughs> so, and we saw Cajun through Hi. the window and he's setting up that Yobo gear. Uh, so uh, let, me, let me spin it around here so we can take a look at it. All right, so there's Cajun. Hi. So what do you got there, buddy? <laughs> so this is the Yobo Cricket Stand, okay. which is a freestanding hammock stand. It packs down into this little bag right here. Oh, nice. And on it is a Townsend Happy Medium Bridge Hammock, which is the only hammock, only bridge hammock that fits without modifying it. Oh. On here, you can fit up to an 11 foot hammock on it. Okay. Um, this one is. The Freedom was first, which required anchors. This one's a freestanding stand, requires no anchors. The third stand that we came out with is the Yobo High, which is actually a two person freestanding hammock stand. Oh, okay. 
and we have the new turtle bug that just hit the just we just finished up the kickstarter and we're going to be releasing that one hopefully in the next couple of months to the general public mm -hmm. it is a lesser expensive model of freestanding hammock stand yeah um on the kickstarter i can't quote retail prices because i don't know them off the top of my head but on the kickstarter the new stand, the turtle bug, with an 11 foot bug netted hammock, a tarp, and an underquilt was right at $4.99. Oh, so wow. the stand is going to be cheaper if you don't need a hammock or quilt or tarp on it. Yeah. Or you can get a complete starter kit to go out into some decent weather and oh, still have perfect. fun. Perfect. So this, this, um, I remember uh, meeting you down at Hancon mm -hmm. and you were uh, repping, um, I think I got you talking about the. Um, Trees. Yeah, the trekking trees trekking are trees. from uh, that is Tensa Outdoor. Okay. Tensa Outdoor has three basic models: um, the trekking trees, which are trekking poles. Yeah. That actually make a two two mono pole system right. for a hammock stand. Does require anchors. The others that they have are a Tensa Solo, okay. which is a aluminum pole that's about that high or so. Wow. Yeah. And you can use one or two of them and a tree. And then the Tensa 4, which I will have set up tomorrow. Oh, very I cool. Just, I'm going to run out of daylight tonight. Yeah, we're running out of daylight. I'll let you get setting up. Oh, that is too cool. All right, let's keep going. Oh, we're in a castle. Yes, <laughs> and we're in a castle. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave the castle now. This is in the back of the castle here. Oh, we got more hammocks all setting up. Yeah, like I said, we're losing daylight. A lot of people are here. And you can see even, it, you don't have to have a hammock. So you can come in a tent as well. Uh, it's just about getting out and meeting people. And if you've never hammocked before, uh, it's a great time to come out and, hey, someone will let you lay in one and see if you like it. There goes why not, <laughs> and I just ran across these stepping out of the castle there. This is uh, Dutch's setup right here, uh, and you can see the specialized tarp called the the Booze Brothers, <laughs> right? So that's Dutch's setup. We'll try to catch him sometime this weekend to maybe tell us maybe how everybody's tarp all says the Booze Brothers with their name on it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going to walk down here and uh, check out some more. Yeah, they go all the way back through here. All right, and this is Steve. He's from uh, Harrisburg, so him and I are not too far from one another, about an hour. He's uh, said he won this tarp, what, two years ago? Uh, last, last spring. Oh, last spring. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is fancy. Yeah, very cool. So, what is that um, underquilt you have? This is a zero degree zip on JRB for the chameleon. Okay. And the top is the winter cover. I don't know if you saw it. I have it in international orange or whatever that orange, burnt orange. Oh, yeah. And I, when it's hunting season, I, I put it on, or when it's cold, I've got a. And it's got the moonlight cover. Oh, it yeah. Have a window. Okay. And it has a spreader bar, but I seem to have neglected to bring it. <laughs> there you go. It's always something we forget, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, you're just getting set up. Have you been? Did, when did you get here? Not too long ago? Uh, about 20 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. We're going to lose daylight. I'll let you keep getting set up. <laughs> All right, brother. Thanks. Okay, we're back up here at the community fire pit. So they got a good fire going here. It's... Everybody's sitting around talking and getting to know one another. And a lot of people already know one another because they've been coming to these for years. So, yeah, I'm meeting a lot of new friends. All right, I'll see you back at camp. I'm going to hang out here for a while. Here's a couple other hammocks down that way that got lights on, but you can't see the other ones because <laughs> it's dark. All right, I'm just swinging around to our spot. You can see I'm all lit up right there. <laughs> so, because the porta potty's that way, anybody that doesn't have a headlamp on, they'll be able to see coming through my area, but I'll probably turn that off in a little while. But yeah, that's our spot. 
All right, so this is our setup uh, at night. So I've got the uh, Haven um, Ridgeline light, just USB. It hangs in the bag there. You can stuff it all in the bag and just have it as a light or run it out your Ridgeline. So <laughs> that's why we're all lit up in here. Uh, but what am I doing? Well, I've got my power bank because I was able to bring the cart in. I thought, well, if I'm taking a cart in, I might as well grab the 1,000 watt Alpha ESS to run some of this stuff. Now I have this just run off of a small power bank that hangs in this bag, uh, but I've got the electric kettle. I'm gonna heat up a little cup of hot water because we're gonna have some Swift coffee. Now, if you know, and you've been following the channel, you know, Swift coffee, um, I just started drinking this. Uh, this is the Twilight Dark Roast. Um, the Swift Coffee Company's in Lancaster, and we're right below Lancaster. Uh, they make, uh, take brewers' uh, coffee, different people's coffee, and they, they turn it into instant, but they also do their own. And when I say instant, I don't mean it's instant. This is way different than instant coffee. Their process... They call it instant coffee because it's an instant cup of coffee. Well, you can have one real quick. Oh, and our water's about boiling in our kettle. Okay. Well, let me get this made, and I'll talk to you in a second. Oh, you can see the powder in there. So it's real fine. <laughs> I love this stuff. Oh. Let's just stick it in the cup. Well, you know how to make instant coffee. <laughs> so, so we got our kettle. This is our travel kettle that we keep in the car. Ooh, it's uh, steaming. Only takes oh, less than a minute to heat that up. Whoa, well, that's a big cup of coffee I'm going to drink. Uh, that's one thing. I can drink coffee and go right to bed. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was a great first day. Like I say, we, we talked to a lot of people. Um, but I didn't capture a lot of people on camera yet. I'm going to do that more tomorrow. We're going to, you know, go around and visit a lot more of the sites. But I, you know, wanted to walk around, kind of get a feel. There's more people coming tomorrow, too. Um, yeah. It's just in an event like this. Um, because, you know, one, you're filming. But two, you also want to talk to people. And you don't want to say, oh, say that again and you hold up the camera and things or mic them up and say, hey, can we say that again? I'm trying to capture as much stuff as I can, um, just natural, get, kind of give you a feel for it. But the only way you're going to get a feel for it is to come out here and do it yourself. And if you're intimidated by it, don't be. Uh, everybody is so welcoming. And, you know, if there's people that that are here that just met a year ago. And then there's people that met at a hammock hang that have been going to hammock hangs for the last 10 years. So, yeah. And it's something you've got to experience. You know, just watching this video, you're not going to really experience it. Uh, being here is experiencing it, but maybe you can't get here, so this is going to be the best you got. So <laughs> we're going to try to do our best tomorrow. And um, for now, I'm going to drink this coffee, hang out a little bit, and then hit the hay, and I'll see you in the morning. Just eat meat now, right? Yeah. They're open. They're all open. All righty. So they're getting everything set up. I'm back up at the compound. It's Saturday morning, and there's Dutch and his crew getting ready to do. What are you making this morning? So we used to make uh, pancakes and French toast, and that used to be uh, tradition. Actually, we first started with pancakes, and we added French toast. Yeah. Uh, but for the past couple years, we've been making breakfast burritos, and you see, we've got a crew. And you see the peppers all cut up here. There's somebody cooking sausage and bacon. And, uh, and this crew, they, they know their stations. They get up early. And we were all up late. But, um, we were ready to feed the hungry arms. And this is going to be the best damn breakfast burrito you've ever eaten. Ah, can't wait. <laughs> all right, they got everything cooked. 
on the assembly line so it's all ready to be assembled. And this is the famous Maha wraps. So you got Dutch there doing his wrap. And this is how you wrap a wrap. We get it all fold in the sides and then do the flip and the roll. Oh, they're looking good. All right, guys, I finally got a burrito, and this is the famous Maha Dutch burrito and crew. <laughs> All right, so we're going to give it our first bite. Oh, that's looking good. Mmm. Boy, that is really good. So they do all the prep of all the stuff individually, then they put it in a pot, and that was those eggs going in. They pour it right in, and that's the whole filling. Oh, it's even got some really good spices to it. Oh, <laughs> if you're thinking about coming next year, don't forget to grab a burrito in the morning. Oh, that's good. Good job, guys. We're all done with breakfast. Man, that was amazing. <laughs> it was really good. So Dutch and crew got down there about 6 o'clock in the morning and started getting everything prepared. And wow, what a spread and what a great breakfast that was. So I saw the um, them making the video uh, last year um, of Maha and I saw the burritos. And like Dutch said, they used to do pancakes and... Um, French toast, but they started doing the breakfast burritos. Big hit, big hit. All right. Well, it did start raining last night around one o'clock in the morning. I heard it starting to come down and it was hitting the tarp. Um, always good when you can have rain when you're sleeping. It's always neat. And certainly the sound is just very relaxing. So the wind is starting to pick up a little bit, a little breezy. Uh, maybe it'll get a little worse later on, but for now it's not bad you can hear the uh, rain coming off the trees and it's still hitting the tarp every once in a while but i slept really really good it was it was very relaxing yeah it was all right well what next oh i don't know we'll see <laughs> all right all right well i met john at the fire pit last night and we got to talk and found out he's close to where i live yep. so not we're only like 30 minutes apart not even yeah, yeah not even Danville, so uh, okay. yeah it's like 15 20 minute ride at the most yeah awesome and we've met down here so isn't that crazy but i wanted to check his uh hammock out um it's really neat uh it's, it's different um and i haven't shown one of these yet so um i'm gonna switch you around all right, John, so tell me about the tarp first. Um, this is made by Dutchware, um, and I had this specifically made after my dad passed away in October of 22. Um, he, he, he loved birds in general, but eagle was his favorite bird. So after he passed, it was, you know, something I just wanted to have done just, just to remember him, and then whenever I go out anywhere, He's with me, and it turned out awesome. I love this, um, seamless, and it's a great tarp. Like again, made by Dutchware, and I just love it. So he specially made that. Then. Yep. So he yep. That. I sent some images, and uh, his team put it together and found some, uh, did some research to make sure it wasn't anything copyrighted and right, stuff. Right. They sent me a couple of images back, and I told them exactly how I wanted it, and then they sent me this one. I was like, I love it. It's perfect. Oh. Cool. Yep, and I got his. I put. I just kept it simple with dad and his birth date and year. Yeah. So. Oh, very nice. But well, I love it. What I like is that this is a <laughs> both you and your his girlfriend. Yep. Okay. Uh, can both hang together under the same tarp. So, what is that called? What that bar? Is that a spreader bar? Is yep. that what they call that? Yep, spreader bar, and it just clips right into the beetle buckles on on Dutch's uh, straps here. Okay. It's got a little pin, and just locks right in, and it, it just never never comes out of there. We don't bump into each other. We have one on each end, 
as long as you're not jumping in there, the other person mm -hmm. really doesn't feel much of anything either. Yeah. So oh, it works nice. out great for us. And what, what uh, hammock is that? They're both chameleons. Okay. Um, both currently have top covers on. Got it. Um, the only thing that's not Dutch wear in here is, is my under quilt and top quilts. They're both hammock gear zero degrees. So we're oh. nice and toasty. Oh yeah, you definitely <laughs> be toasty. Oh, that is really cool. Well, John, thanks a lot. That's a great setup. Yeah, I love it. It works out great for us, especially if we're limited on trees. We both can be easily set up Ooh, with just good. two trees and yeah. good to go. Awesome. Yep. Well, thanks a lot, buddy. Yep, no All problem. Right. See ya. Hey. All right, so the castle is back that way. I walked all the way back as far as I, far as I could see where the last hammock was, and uh, that hammock's right over here, and. <laughs> When I came down here, I saw this, oh, a tunnel. So we're gonna go ahead and walk through it. So there's a little train track. Um, I guess the pro property owner up front uh, that shares the driveway with uh, the airsoft place, he has uh, some steam trains, little, little steam trains and uh, his grandkids and kids all built him a track when he was on vacation and he came home and all this was built oh there's another hammock <laughs> so yeah maybe this is the last hammock on the property down through here but yeah the train track runs all the way out through there and there's that other setup right over there and uh look back at the tunnel yeah, so that's the last hammocks that I see down this way. And like I said, right up there is the castle. We're on the other side of the castle, so we're all the way on the back side of the property. But yeah, there's more hammocks uh, all over the place. You can see a whole setup over there. And people just find trees and start hanging. Yeah, I'm walking down through not many people were at their hammocks. Uh, there was a couple that I saw people taking naps after that breakfast. Oh, that was a good breakfast. <laughs> oh, there's another ammo dump. <laughs> yeah, just walking by this tarp here. Really neat tarp, printed tarp. And that's something I haven't seen yet. So that's a, a little gear hammock right there uh, for the gear. Oh, that is a nice setup. He's got his backpack hanging on there and Ridgeline has all kinds of stuff in there to hold the gear. Uh, there's a lot of different setups down here. And you can see he's got some solar lights there to show where the guy lines are so they don't get tripped over. Oh, uh, this is a nice little setup here. I got a even put a tarp up for for their wagon yeah got a very big tarp in the center so they can all stay dry but blue skies doesn't look like it's raining now that's perfect beautiful day it's about 57 degrees right now and it's probably about a half an hour away from them getting ready to play airsoft Ah, oh, that's cool a way to get around Yeah, I ha you know, I have the buckle strap, but I was looking for uh, something else. So this is a, a whoopee sling, and that's a whoopee hook right there. And that's Dutch's whoopee hook. Um, and you can see the whoopee sling, and then it's just got the strap up there. So that's a different way to suspend your hammock. Yeah. And that's a different backpack. What, what, what backpack is that again? The ULA Circuit. ULA Circuit. You know, I've got the Osprey, but I'm checking that one out. That's pretty awesome. Well, we're going to keep rolling. So I walked, I'm straight down from where I'm camped. You can see there's hammocks all the way out there, probably 75 yards. Um, so we're kind of really spread out. One of the reasons they don't do it at the last place that they were at is because they outgrew the location. <laughs> so, uh, 
And then it's, it's going to be in the fall here again, and I don't think they're going to outgrow this location anytime soon, so plenty of room to grow. Um, they're getting ready to do a briefing for anybody playing airsoft, and we're going to go grab a spot up there and because uh, I want to I want <laughs> get to a high point and maybe watch them all go at it. <laughs> all right, let's get up there. All right, so this is Denny. He's uh, the owner of the property and how long you been here 40 years 40 years so he's doing uh he just asked me he said tony you want to put a goggles on and a vest and uh, be out there filming he said nobody will shoot me right right <laughs> okay all right you gotta check this place out oh 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 uh oh all right uh, well we'll see you in the field i'll remind them back me up they hit your shirt they won't even be on the top I went ahead and followed the Airsoft group, and that's the one that Dutch and Tony and Why Not and everyone was on. And boy, I took a little bit of friendly fire walking around <laughs> getting these shots. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Well, they played for a couple hours. I didn't make it over to the paintball area, but they had a lot of fun too. Well, that's that part. So we're back up at the compound area, so these are all the picnic tables, but hey, there's a line for the food. And right over there is where all the uh, raffle items are that were donated for the event. So there's going to be a raffle after dinner, but first we got to eat. Dinner is served. Hamburgers and hot dogs and a full spread that we had a sign-up sheet where you could bring extra items. Then it was time for the raffle. And uh, there was a ton of stuff donated by a lot of great companies and you had an opportunity to buy a raffle ticket and win different things. Um, here's Dutch going over and giving a shout out to all the companies that donated items for the um, raffle and also some individuals um, donated things as well. It was a great raffle. And this is one of the highlights of coming to Maha. You got an opportunity to walk away with some extra and new gear uh, that's all donated by different companies to benefit this event all right so hey <laughs> this has been a great uh, weekend and uh, i want to thank you dutch for having such an awesome event yeah thanks, it's, you bet. It's, thanks it's, for coming no it's it's been incredible and so i got to hang out with dutch for the for really the first time ever and, and learn more about his company and just what this does. And can you just say a couple things about the event? Yeah, so Maha, which is one of the very first hangs, um, I believe it really makes the community strong mm -hmm. because um, we're all getting together. Yeah. And people, people argue and fight when they're on the internet, but here you have to go and get part of the community. You're gonna see that person at some point. So it's different when these hammock people get together. But what this does, is it helps a small business. We are, we are having um, other cottage vendors supply us with the raffle prizes. Oh, that raffle was amazing. <laughs> People get amazing raffle prizes. We're getting yeah. the name out and we're right. all have, coming here and having a good time. And then when it's all right. said and done, we clean the books and we give, um, we give all the money to charity. Right. So yeah. Very often that's Boy Scouts. We try to find some kind of organization that gets children in the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this was a new venue here, uh, and this place was amazing. This is the first time we did um, did paintball right. and airsoft, and yeah. I think it really was a success. It and was. the place really facilitated well. Absolutely. And we had this amazing sunset uh, absolutely. <laughs> to say and, goodbye to it. And, uh, and the air horn, that was to let us know what we're, what's next. <laughs> they, don't, they don't want to be ignored. Uh, no, they don't. All right. Well, I made a lot of great new friends. Yeah, I really you, did. And yep. I'm coming back. Yep. I'm coming back. You doing it again in the fall? We do it in the fall. Plus, these are held. Hangs are held throughout the country all the year, throughout right. the entire year. Oh, I and just saw you have a calendar on there. Your... There's an interactive calendar on, on our website at Dutchware, and you can go in there and you can, we have a map and a calendar, you can find one that's near you, and even if you don't have a hammock, you can still go and spend the day or sleep in a tent, nobody really cares. No, right. And, um, and, and you get, people will show you the rigs. It's the friendliest yeah. people in the world. Absolutely, and I, I learned something new um, on my event just earlier today that I didn't realize, you know, yeah. and it's been great, yeah. 
amazing and another like he said amazing sunset as well well i'm gonna get out of here and uh Thanks a lot again, Well, thanks for you, bet, no. and thank you for coming. Oh, no, I appreciate it. All right. <laughs> it was a hey, joy. Let's hang out for a little while longer. Right? I sure will, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Yep, cool, man. <laughs> oh, before I go, <laughs> so I wanted to introduce you to, remember when I was walking around, I said, oh, there's a, a tarp there that has uh, the lookout on it. Well, this is the uh, owner of the lookout. Uh, this is Yard Sale. That's her trail name. Everybody say hi to Yard Sale. Yeah, so that's on the Appalachian Trail. And this is your granddaughter? Granddaughter. Ah, yeah. So what's your trail name? Um, Rock Hopper. Rock Hopper. All righty. And your trail name? I'm Log Jumper. Log Jumper. Oh, that is so cool. Well, so when you come out to one of these, like I say, all ages come and enjoy. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. I had a fun too. Yeah. Well, we got one more night of hanging, right? Yeah. All right. Do you want to say bye to everybody? Yeah. Say, see ya. See ya. <laughs> Don't forget to come next year. <laughs> Look them up. All right. We'll see ya. Bye. <laughs> bye.